Coach, do you guys feel like you are, as special team coordinators, are represented in these meetings that happen when they talk about rule changes and things of that nature? Uh, I mean, we have our opinions, and um, and that is what it is. You know what I mean? It's like they see it one way, we see it, in, you know, one way, and at the end of the day, they're gonna make a decision, and you know, whatever's best for the game whatever they feel like is best for the game they're going to go with. So it is what it is. Do you plan to experiment more in, in this preseason just to figure out how you want to approach kickoffs and the different uh, You know, it, it's, it's something that we're always looking at and something we're always thinking about and talking about because at, at any point in time, you got to be prepared for, <laughs> you know, you got to expect the unexpected. So you know there are going to be uh, certain teams that are going to do certain things you know, during the course of the preseason, just to try some things out. You know, it's always like that when you ever have a, a new rule change. How's well, it been working you, with Mike? How's it been working with Mike? Oh, it's been great. You know, um, you know, we have a history together. I coached him in Carolina, and uh, he was awesome as a player. Uh, he's great to have in the room. Great leader, brings a wealth of experience and knowledge, and uh, he is. He's been really good so far. And and, and again, it's new to him. It's a new area for him uh, as far as coaching is concerned, but he's doing a great job of picking it up and learning at the same time. What do your coaches leave like that, though? I mean, do you have a short list available, or is that something the GM has to do, or how does that work out? Well, I mean, I, I think it's something that we all, you know, we're all um, thinking about all the time because you got to be one step ahead of it. You know, a, a guy like Anthony Blevins um, is always uh, going to be someone people want. You know, he's a veteran coach that has been around, has had a lot of success in the league. He's coached a bunch of Pro Bowl players. So he's interviewed for coordinator's jobs the last two or three years. So you knew at some point in time it was going to happen. I knew you were a proponent of him. Like, how much do you think he, you know, with the work he did here, deserved that opportunity? Uh, you know, Blaz has been doing this for a long time. And, and it's all about opportunity. And uh, I, 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 I told him, I said, uh, when I talked to Mark, I, I sold him like a used four. You know, he, he did a great job while he was here. He did a great job in Arizona. I always respected his work. When I was, uh, we were in the same division in 15, and that's why I first met him. And uh, he's, he's done a heck of a job. And I, I look forward to seeing him have success in, in XFL. What did um, Jamie do enough of to, um, you know, have this organization bring him back? Well, I mean, you, you just look at the upside with Jamie, uh, he's, he has a powerful leg, uh, he's young, he's uh, very, very, uh, you know, as far as his work ethic and how he goes about his business, he's super mature and he wants to get better. And, and you know, we just, we just have to do a better job of, uh, of helping him, you know, as far as our coverage and those things, like he's, he's done a really good job for us and he's getting better. Every, every week he's getting better. I mean, there's a whole thing you don't quit on talent. No, I mean, no, the, he's super, super talented. Yeah, and is it is, is do you are you confident those rough edges? That can yeah, yeah, I mean that's, that's that's you know time on task. That's going you know he's, he's going to get better over time, it's like any other player, regardless of the position. You know, the longer he does it, the better he'll get at it, and he's doing the right thing. So we're just we're trying to just bring him along. You know, and and just get better every day. Too. Did, you, did you see any areas of improvement as last year progressed that the same stuck out to you? Oh, absolutely. Just uh, in the plus area, he had better control uh, down the stretch, and it, he he really did a good job in the back end of the season. And our gunners obviously helped him, but uh, he did a good job in the plus area, just making sure we get those balls. Those balls that were touchbacks early in the season became balls down at the eight, the nine, and uh, I think that helped us a lot. How much nuance is there in special teams to where the late person or the fan may not be able to notice? Because I feel like people talk as if it just doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean it's it's hitting yardage all over the place when it comes to special teams, and uh, you know it's having a really good return game, being able to cover kicks and be able to back your your opponent up inside the 10, inside the 20, uh, being able to push the ball out past the 30, and uh, being able to make field goals and affect kicks through rushing, uh, all those different things that, that come along with it. You know, that part of, of the game, I think people don't really understand 
to the degree that how important it is to uh, to be able to play field position, especially in the Northeast when it gets cold later in the year, we got to run the football. Uh, it, it makes a big difference, it really does. When you, when you think of um, Eric Gray's abilities as a returner, see him back there with a yeah. kick and punt. You know, Eric Eric does a good job. He's talented. You know, he did it in college, and uh, you know he's he's a he's a work in progress, just like all the rest of them that are back there. Uh, but he's doing a good job. He's working hard, and uh, you know he's a rookie that has a lot to learn. And we're just you know we're bringing him along like all the rest of. Them. Would you like we're in this? Same spot every year, but where do you stand then on your returners? Like, who do you want to see get out there and get an opportunity in the in the preseason? All the guys that are back there, all those guys. You you always want to see what you got. You know what I mean? Like you never know until you know. You know, so we got to put them out there and give them all opportunities, and uh, you know, see what they got. How do you how do you balance like uh, let's say Eric's young but mm -hmm. explosive, and then maybe you have veterans who you know are going to catch the ball, right? But might not have that same burst. Like right. how do you balance that? Well, the most important thing is the ball. You know what I mean? Like that's the most important thing. And uh, but again, that's that's always something that we're constantly working on. He's done a better job of feeling the ball and catching the ball since he's been here.